back on my gob and it's Kiss Wednesday. Hey, I got a killer donation from Mr. Dennis Turney Jr. who has a YouTube page called Fat Man Walking. So check it out. I'm going to check it out and I'm going to subscribe because he's the man. Thank you so much, my friend. Not only for the killer donation, but man. You made me crack open. You made me slap this on the turntable, which I haven't listened to in so long. This is a fun album. So much fun. And I love it so much that my band covered a song off this album. And you will see the video at the end. What the hell's up with that light? You will see the video at the end of this track by track. So thank you so much, Dennis. Um... So here we go. I, I I took notes though, you know, to be because I haven't heard this Tracy Lords album in so long. I mean, Lord Tracy, not Tracy Lords. Uh, you know, I met Tracy Lords. True story. Uh, but here we go. Uh, I will say, which album do I like? Oh, I'm putting it against Hot in the Shade, which you know already from the title. Which one do I like more, man? by eons this is a fun album and man again thank you dennis because playing it now i was like god this album is so good so underrated it's an amazing album and uh for those that don't know uh this features the original pantera singer um terry glaze and it's just fun it's What's really strange about this album and what's really cool about it, and it's hard to explain, but let's see if I can explain it the best I could. This album is very kind of eclectic, but it's a hard rocking album. It's a fun album. All the songs are fun and rocking, but each song has like a different feel to it. I, I think it's very impressive. That's why I feel like this is so underrated. I mean, they're funny, they're hysterical but they can play and that bass player in this band unbelievable great stuff man all right so let's do this okay uh out with the boys ready out of the gate fun hilarious there's a cool video for it they're like jamming in a strip club and it's just a lot of fun and that one's going against rise to it now rise to it i i dig that song uh, I think the beginning is like just so pathetic how they do this little bluesy thing because Cinderella did it on Long, Long Cold Winter. They're trying to get the bluesy thing. I mean, thank God. I mean, not that it helped the album anymore, but if they went that bluesy route, it would have been so pathetic. But it is still pathetic, the beginning. But then when it comes in, it's a good rocking tune. I have nothing against Rise to it. It's a good tune, but... See you later, babe. I'm going out with the boys. I'm giving it to that one. All right. Next is uh, East Coast Rose. I love it. It's catchy. It's infectious. I fucking love it. And it's going against Betrayed, which is another song I like off this album a lot. But no, I'm giving it to Lord Tracy. Definitely giving it to Lord Tracy. All right. Next. Uh, she's such a bitch. Fun, straightforward, funny-ass track. You know, I mean, she ain't got shit. She's such a bitch. I love the hell out of this song. Again, I mean, all three of these songs have that fun vibe, but they're different from each other. Very impressive, if you ask me. Uh, and that's going against Hide Your Heart. I despise that song, no matter who did it. Molly Hatchet. Uh, Ace Frehley, that chick. I don't care for either one of those. I just hate that. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey, hey. I just... Do, 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 do. <laughs> God, I just can't stand that song at all. Uh, so, I'm definitely giving it to, to, the, to the superior song. She's such a bitch. Um, I think he wrote that about Paul Stanley. I'm kidding, maybe. Uh, what's next? Barney, Barney's Walk. Now, the great Dennis told me to separate it because Barney's Walk is a tiny instrumental that, you know, bleeds into the next song, which both songs are like together, but to make them equally, all these tracks equally, I separated it. And Barney's Walk is 36 seconds, and it's an instrumental, and that bass player, my God, and the double bass 
uh, drums going on. It's extremely short, but pretty damn impressive. And what's that? What, what, what crappy song is that going against? Uh, Prisoner of Love. Oh, man. Throw away the key to that fucking song. Seriously. Screw that song. I, you know, this album gets so bad. I still put it above Crazy Nights because there are like three, four songs I like off it. I can't say that about Crazy Nights. Um, next song, which is pretty much bleed, uh, Barney's Walk, bleeds into What You Doing. Kick-ass track with a very infectious bridge. I love that bridge and I love that chorus. Awesome song. Great, great song. And uh, what's that going against? <laughs> Read My Body. I find it insulting with Read My Body going against any song. Terrible. Terrible. I hate Pour Some Sugar On Me, and this is even worse. It's trying to be Pour Some Sugar On Me, but it's just... Turn the page, get to the good stuff. Did you guys see the video I made? Which is chock full of Richard Simmons stuff. Type in Kiss Free My Body Almost Human and watch it. <clears throat> yeah, and I got several comments on there going, you know, I, I love this song. And I'm like, uh, uh, I don't give a fuck. All right, next song. Uh, Chosen Ones. Uh, this one, again, this one really, it, it, it's kind of ballady. It's chill. It's got this really cool vibe. I mean, it's a great, great song. Great chill tune. And uh, I'm impressed. Uh, I forgot how good this album was. And listening to this now, I was like, damn, man. And, and this song, when this song came on, I was like, man, this is so good. It's just too good, really. And what's that going against? Chosen Ones is going against Love's a Slap in the Face. You know what? Shows the one slapped the fuck out of this song into submission. It slapped it silly. Silly. Giving it to that. Boy, Lord Tracy's wiping the floor here, huh? What's after this? Uh, in Your Eyes. Again. Love it. It's got this killer groove. It's just a good paced tune. Fucking rocks, man. What's that going against? Forever. Now, I... You'd expect me to hate this song, but uh, I don't. I think Forever, it's a fair ballad. It's not bad. I, you know, I know it was a hit. I think it was the first Kiss top 10 since Beth. Or maybe I was made for loving you. I don't know. But uh, it's all right. And, you know, typically I would hate songs like this. But I don't mind it. Uh, forever. Uh, but In Your Eyes Wins. I just think it's a better song. Uh, Rats Motel is next, and uh, hard driving. And again, you know, I I, I want I I want to talk about this. This is a fun song. Now, I know what Poison does and what Pretty Boy Floyd, which I've done a review of that, uh, track by track of that. They're out there being fun as well, but it doesn't connect with me. But I gotta say, man, with this whole um stadium tour thing i gotta i gotta say i am impressed by poison they look like they're into it they're fucking giving people their money's worth regardless of what i think of their songs i have a new respect for poison for you know going out there and you know being showmen entertainers and may not like the music but i have a new found respect with how they go out there and you know they do their thing and then follow, uh, following them is Motley Crue and Def Leppard just with no energy whatsoever. And I got to say, my friends that went to the Miami show, I didn't go. They all told me. And they don't like Poison. They were like, dude, Motley and, and uh, Def Leppard were boring. And man, Poison went out there and, you know, they did their thing. And people were into it. And they didn't look bored. They... They look like they wanted to be there. Now, the reason I bring up Poison and Pretty Boy Floyd, now this is, this song right here, uh, Rats Motel, uh, it's like Poison and Pretty Boy Floyd, it's a fun song, but this type of song connects with me more than Poison and Pretty Boy Floyd does. Uh, it's fun, 
like Van Halen, the six pack. Those are the type of fun songs that I absolutely love. And Rats Motel is no exception. And that's going against Silver Spoon. Fuck this Bon Joni wannabe track. Fuck this song. Rats Motel gets it. Uh, next song is Foolish Love. All right, this one is a ballad, and they made a video for it. The second video, the second single. And I can understand why they would do it, because, you know, I, you know the chicks love the power ballad. I gotta say, for me personally, I, it's my least favorite song on the album. Doesn't connect. It just doesn't connect. But what's that going? It, it's not the worst thing I ever heard, you know, but it's not like a... What's that? Uh, Striper. I love Striper, but All of Me? Oh. Um, it's going against Cadillac Dreams. Piss poor song. I mean, at least it's honest, which is something that Gene and Paul are, rarely are. But this is like as, as honest as Gene gets on a song. Because he's talking about how much he loves money. So I'll give it that. But Foolish Love, I still think, is a better song because... Cadillac Dreams is just piss poor. Piss poor track. All right, what's next after that? Uh, she Man Blues. This song is only 20 seconds long, and it's hilarious. He's like, I piss like a man, or something like that. And then at the end, he's, what did he say? I forgot already, but I like to dress like a woman or something. And then, and then the band goes, what? And it ends. Fucking hysterical. I love it. And it's only 20 seconds long, and that goes against King of Hearts. Not funny, uh, pretentious, predictable, garbage water. Not even flies go near this garbage. It's terrible. So I'm giving it to that 20-second She-Man Blues song. And that song is bluesy, too, which makes it even funnier to me. All right, what's next? Uh, King of the Nighttime Cowboys. Not the Nighttime World, King of the Nighttime. Again, a fun song, funny. Um, it just, it's a feel good fucking song. It's awesome. I love it. And what's that going against? Uh, the Street Giveth and Lord Tracy Taketh Away because Lord Tracy got a point here again. Seriously, fuck that tune. All right, the next one. <laughs> This is funny. It's called 3HC. How long was this one? A minute and a half. And it's, it's like, it sounds like old school rap. You know, like it's total old school rap, but in the background, it's kind of like a jungle music type thing with jungle chanting. It's fun. I dig it. It's fun. It's, and it's only a minute and a half. And I don't mind a lot of old school rap. And this has that old school rap feel. I'm telling you, this band is very diverse but still kind of like in the same level. It's, I, don't, I can't think of any band like Lord Tracy where they, they change up all the songs, but they're still the common thread. It's very impressive to me. Uh, 3HC, and that goes against You Love Me to Hate You. Now this one's goofy, just like uh, 3AC, but it's not funny, it's boring, it sucks. So... <laughs> My God, is, is, is Kiss going to get any points? I already know the outcome, but stick around. Um, the next song is my favorite song, Submission. The, with, with the line, when I close my eyes, I can't see it all. <laughs> it's just fucking hilarious to me. I find that funny. When I close my eyes, I can't see it all. <laughs> what the hell? Love it. I love that. It's funny. And uh, it's just great. And that one goes against somewhere between my taint and my ass crack. Fuck off. Seriously, fuck off. Submission. Beats the fuck out of that song into submission. All right, then the next one, Piranha. Now here they turn into a thrash band. It's a double bass thrash song. And I cover it. So stick around. You'll see the video I made for this cover song. We we did we made a demo for it. We never really put it on an album, even though there is uh, the first album, Poser Holocaust, was re-released with bonus tracks and it has that demo on it. Stick around for the video. 
and which is sucks because it goes against Little Caesar. Now, if Little Caesar went against uh, Foolish Love, it would have won. Betrayed would have won. Rise to it would have won for. But man, it's going against Piranha, the <laughs> song I love so much that I covered it. Forgive me, Eric Carr, man. Which most of the times when I put. I think every time I put Hot in the Shade up against anything, Little Caesar always won. I think. I'm pretty sure. Well, here it was defeated because it's going against, This is a song about a fish! What a song. All right, now we're at the last track. Ivory Lover. Now, this song is 24 seconds of piano, like kind of like a goofy piano thing. It's pointless, and it's going against, Many people uh, don't like this song. Paul Stanley didn't even want it on the album, I understand. But it's my favorite song off Hot in the Shade, Boomerang. And obviously I'm going to give it to Boomerang. Because, Jesus. I mean, 24 second piano. Uh, though it would have won <laughs> against a lot of these damn songs. But not, you know, Boomerang or Little Caesar. Or I'd even put Forever over it and and rise to it and betrayed but in the end uh how many what's this 15 songs i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen yeah sorry 14 got um lord tracy got 14 this one got one and seriously boomerang if it didn't go against you know ivory lover it might have lost between a lot of these songs on here. Except for Foolish Love, I say. And, uh, and of course, you know, Ivory Love. So, Dennis, thank you so much, my friend. And anybody out there know this album? I know a lot of you know this. But anybody know this album and want to put them track by track, put your comments below. I'd like to know what Dennis thinks. Dennis, again, my friend, thank you so much. You rock. You rule. You rock too hard. Not too hard. You rock just enough for me to give you two thumbs up and a bang bang pizza skulls. And if you like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please donate to my channel if you have not. Right on, everybody. Stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. Check this album out, man. If you like some good, hard rock and fun shit. Like you Poison fans and stuff like that. Give this a chance. It's, it's fun. And I mean, watch the video uh, out with the boys. It's just a lot of fun, you know. I love it. Right on. So, smack em a gob and bang, 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 pizza skulls. Gave a couple extra bangs there. Bang, bang. This is a song about a fish. It's fish. I'm